The quality of democracy in Hungary has been deteriorating since 2006 already, but especially after 2010. So there is a serious uh, backsliding in democratic quality, and as you can see by 2017, Hungary is uh, the lowest in terms of democratic quality. But Hungary has received the highest scores for good governance before 2010. So the question is, why was good politics successful and bad politics unsuccessful before 2010? That a large percent of Hungarians just lose their faith in capitalism. As you can see, 80% of Hungarians supported capitalism uh, in 91, but only 40% did so uh, by 2009. I think it's crucial to understand how this anger and, and the need for kind of social protection and solidarity gets re-articulated, expressed in nationalistic terms. So you have to look at economic insecurities to be able to express the rise of neo-nationalist identities. So I, I think these are, none of them determines the other. I think these are mutually the uh, reinforcing uh, processes.